Hello, this is Ibrahim, and in this video I'm going to show you how to display the image that you have uploaded in another file. In the previous tutorial, what we did was uh, we have uploaded an image and we changed its original name to, um, to a naming of our own, which is basically we called it Timp. And then when the image is when the image gets uploaded, I went and redirected the page to display complete.html and in complete sorry in complete.html we just displayed the word uploaded now in this video I'm going to show you how to display the image that you have uploaded now let's go ahead and show you the method now of course uh, there are several methods you could achieve this however my preferred are basically three which I think um, I'll show you from the list preferred to the most preferred Let's start with the list preferred one. Now in this case we know the exact specific name of the file that we have uploaded. So let's uh, start with that. Uh, what we could do is we could use the defaults that come with Python. Uh, as I told you in the first video, um, front this one front slash upload and front slash these are called roots. They are also called endpoints. So uh, basically they are both synonyms. So in uh, Flask there is a default root or a default endpoint called static. And what static mean if you are using static it basically points to a folder called static. In this case we do not have any folder in here called static. We only have images folder and templates folder. Let's go ahead and create a folder and we shall call it static like that. Now what this will enable us to do is that we will use the defaults supplied with Flask. Now, uh, since we've uploaded the image, uh, the image that we want to upload, we used to upload them to images folder here, which is basically uh, denoted by this variable here. This basically brings us here. Now, what we want to do, we want to upload the images to static. Instead of us uh, uploading them to images. Let's change this to static. And in complete.html, we just we will just add an image tag, an image HTML tag with the source. Now the source we know that we are calling it temp.jpg. So the source of the image will be temp.jpg. Of course, this will not work. Now how? Uh, will our system know that temp to JPEG is actually a file in uh, in the server? Now we have to use a method in Flask, which is called URL underscore four, which basically this method we've seen in the first video, and it takes in the parameters as follows. Now it takes in the folder static. Now th what this mean what this means is that get me the path to the static folder. Again, static is a predefined uh, variable or an endpoint in Flask which basically retrieves the path to this folder here. Now in this case I'm telling it to bring the path to this folder here. Don't worry, I'll show you how to change this afterwards. Now let's uh, stick to the defaults. Static will bring us here and then I want to tell it to, just to get me the, the path to the exact file name that we are going to name as temp.jpg like that. Let's give this a try and see the result. So let me open up a page. So here's the page. And let me navigate to the root, to the index, and let's upload penguins. Upload. Now you can see that we have a problem here. And I'll show you what is it. Let's inspect this image here. And then you could see that we have a problem that this was not actually translated to what we really need. Simply because we have a typo in the way we represent things. And the typo is the, br the curly brackets that we forgot to add. Now, Ginger basically knows that this is a, 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 that this is a variable that it has to translate using the brackets like that. Let's re-change this. Oh, sorry, rerun this. And let's go back here and then choose the image and then upload it again. And there we are. So this is the image. If we check the code, 
we'll get to see that the image is actually uploaded and it's static and it's called temp.jpg. What if you want to display an image that you are you do not name the no sorry you do not have the name of? Say for example, um, let's change this back to the original status like file name. Now file name is basically the original name that we've um, this is basically the original name of the image that the user will upload and I decided to keep this and of course you can use whatever name you want you can make the amendments before you save the image to the server as we've seen in the previous video anyway let's assume that file name is the image name in the server now how do we get uh, how do we tell complete the HTML to display that specific image so what we're going to do we just need to pass this as a variable here that ginger will actually understand so file name will basically is a variable that will hold the fi the file the file name that we pass in here we could have done if we kept temp.jpg we could have simply passed temp.jpg here and then in here instead of us displaying temp.jpg we could have displayed the file name which is basically this variable to avoid any kind of confusion let me change this instead of us uh, naming this file name, let's make this uh, maybe image underscore name and image underscore name will contain the image file name in the server so how do we uh, get to display this in complete.html we simply now if we if we put this as let's go ahead and l let me show you how this works if we did this this is what we're going to get. Sorry, it's actually called image name. Sorry about that. Let me show you this. Uh, let me put it back. Let me upload a different image. Well, let me upload Koala maybe. And if you can see here, that image name gets displayed the way we put it as because it treats it as a string. So to avoid that, we should remove the single quotes here, and Ginger will understand that this is a variable name and is not a string. Let's retry this again, and let me go back and upload this one more time, and there we go. So that's basically how you would want to pass variable names of the custom files, or basically the file names of the files that, of the images that you want to display uh, through. Yeah, I hope that's clear and uh, a quick recap uh, so we've seen how to actually display uh, an image with a specific name and uh, we've also seen how to uh, the reason I showed you that because uh, for specific names you could actually use that to display logos and stuff you know for the static content that you'll have in your site for the dynamic images that you probably have uploaded and, and such you could pass the file names uh, as we have seen here and then you get to display them using the URL for and the problem or the problem with this method is that you will have to stick to the static folder as we have seen here now if you want to change the the static folder the the where the static folder actually points to what you could do is you could use the parameter in uh, in the in while you specify the flask app what you could do is simply use static folder parameter and then use images like so what this does is this uh, instead of you and what, what this will do this will change where this points to as I told you earlier static points to the static folder in the server now by doing this static will point to the images folder now basically this changes this the where this one points to instead of you pointing to static again this points to images instead of static however I advise you to keep this as is because you would want to keep maybe you would want to you will be adding some other parameters in here later on like a CSS or JavaScript and such so you would want to simply use this instead of you each and every time passing the file through now now this begets another point now let me just remove this I don't think we really need this. Well, you know what? Let's keep this and work with this as uh, it's pointing. Uh, let's work with this static folder as in the images. Let me delete this just to avoid any kind of confusion now. 
uh, let me just delete this and there we go we just stick to images now so we've uh, we told the flask to uh, point now that we told the flask that the static folder is called images so now we're dealing with images alone now let me show you my preferred method well you know what before that there is also another way to um, to pass to pass the images and is basically to use send from directory instead of us now instead of us returning to this page what we could do is this would be very useful in case we want to implement some sort of download methodology or you know some sort of uh, uh, like a, a click on a link to download an image or something the way we could achieve that let's comment this out and let's do use a built-in um, method is called send from directory we could we could do this send from of course you have to import this from flask uh, it's not here send from directory like that and then it takes in several parameters uh, the ones we basically need now is basically the folder name that we want to use and we want to use images and then we also want to use specify which exact image that we want to pass through which is called temp the jpeg and uh, there's a third parameter that I'd advise you to add is called as an attachment and uh, this is true like that so let's import this and let's verify that it's there perfect now if we upload the image now you know what we want to upload we want to send through the image that we've uploaded and that's denoted by the file name here so let's give this a try and I'll show you what this actually means now this is let me go back let me choose another image jellyfish and we should be able to download this image now uh, upload and we've got an internal error simply because the image is not found and what we could do here is uh, it has not been uploaded either case because it's, it's, uh, it has went to static and the reason why it was, it was not able to find it is because we forgot to change static to images because the image was actually uploaded to static here to static folder and it was created because when it went through this if statement it realized that there is no static folder so it created it and then uh, it went on to pass the, the image that we have uploaded from the images folder which basically is not there the image is not there because we uploaded it to static let's try this again let me delete this uh, so that we avoid any kind of confusion let me start this again and I believe this video is getting quite lengthy now so I'll try to let's uh, speed things uh, speed things so this 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 is a jellyfish let's upload this and we still get a file uh, because we've got oh there's a typo I do apologize for that my bad my bad there is no e in attachments of course uh, my bad attachment yeah. there's a spelling mistake uh, that's my that's totally me uh, let's go back again and upload the jellyfish again and there we go and then we could see that it's actually downloaded here so what happened here is that the whole file was actually sent after it's been saved so it's like you're sending the whole file instead of you sending the completed HTML you're sending the file um, and basically this is another method that you could you could actually utilize to to get the image that you have sent uh, another approach which is my preferred approach I'll try to make this as fast as uh, show you this very quickly which is my preferred method on how you want to display an image uh, in another file so let's go back and return this uh, let's, let's remove this just to keep things clean and you know what let me keep this because I want to upload this to github so you could actually play around with this uh, I added a space just to conform to the pep8 you know anyways so the third approach which is my preferred approach and is to you to, to use a combination of what I have showed you just now. So what I could do is we could add a method that instead of us changing the static file, or basically we, instead of us changing this the static folder to images, and then we have to pass the file name. What we want to do is that we want to use a method that would actually retrieve 
the path to the image. Now what we could do is just get this, put this back the way it was. And then what we could do is we could add a method. Let's call it, uh, we add an endpoint that would, uh, that would basically act like the way static was working. So instead of us, instead of static pointing to retrieving the path to the static folder, what we want to do is want, we want to retrieve our own path to the image that we want to display. So the way we do that is basically let's define an endpoint or a root. Let's call this upload and then it takes in the file name of the image that we want to, uh, that we want to upload like that. And then let's define a method. Let's call it, uh, for example, um, uh, send, um, send image like that. And it takes in the file name that we pass file name like that and what it does is basically returns the file return send from directory and then images directory like so and file name so what this does file name like that so the, what this does is that we are passing the file name that we want to the, the 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 file in the server that we want to display for example jellyfish we're passing this name here to this method and what this method does is it returns the file which basically returns jellyfish so we're telling it jellyfish exists in the images folder which is basically our folder the folder where we are we will upload the images to and we're giving it to because we're telling it to send just with it's just it's similar to what we have seen here so we're passing this file through so now what we need to do is we need to display uh, sorry we need to display this uh, instead of us accessing static so we will use this to return send image we will use send image to return the uh, file that we want to display so let's keep this the way it was now we knew now instead of us displaying static what we want to display is send image so what this does is that this will get us the URL to this function here and this function will be supplied in the uh, the file name it will get as uh, which is basically the image name here and this will be supplied to this to this method here With uh, again, we're passing the image name as a variable called file name to the send image here. So now this one will come here and will also pass the file name, which will be received as a file name, and it, the image will be retrieved back from this uh, folder. Let me show you how this works. Let's rerun this and let's go back okay so let's refresh this let me upload say for example koala and let's upload this and there we go so basically that's how you would want to display my uh, uh, the last approach that I've showed you is basically my preferred one and generally that's how you would want to display an image in a uh, in, in a given file um, again, to, as a quick recap, because I understand this might be a lengthy video, and I understand that I might have not explained very well. I hope I did. Anyways, but basically, my preferred method is to pass on the file name to complete.html, and instead of us reading from static, which is basically the predefined endpoint in Flask, we want to use our own method that retrieves our own images that are not in static folder. So send image is basically this endpoint it will come in here and uh, we are also passing through the file name that we have obtained uh, from here render template complete we also passed in the image name and then we received it here in 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 this completed html as a variable so we saved it in a variable called file name that we passed in to send image endpoint so we come here to send image endpoint and we received in the file name and then we returned the file from images as file name. So basically this would return the, the path to that file 
uh, to the, the file that we need. So basically in this case it was Koala. So it would return Koala in images and uh, we can see it in the source code here in the upload Koala.jpg. It will be returned as a file in this endpoint. And if you can see here, this is upload and that's the file name. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them my way. Uh, okay, so thank you for following and uh, have a good day.